Hello, and welcome back to the Golden Seal Enterprises channel. Today's training tip, we're gonna discuss a few different options for concealed carry and different types of firearms. Now, because there's so many different options and so many different types of firearms available, we're not gonna get really in depth. We're gonna have a few different options to make life easier on you as you're out shopping. The first thing I want you to understand, or Golden Seal wants you to understand, is that there's no particular firearm and no particular holster that will handle every situation you'll be in if you decide to conceal carry. Primarily speaking, you want your first holster and your first firearm to kind of coincide in the environment that you're gonna be carrying. Ideally, if you're wearing a tank top and board shorts, an ankle holster is, or a shoulder holster is not gonna be the best option. For that primary example of a tank top and board shorts, you might wanna consider something called a belly band. It's a very simple piece of elastic that runs all the way around your body and has these nice little pouches in here that's stitched in the shape of a firearm. So as you wrap it around your figure, the firearm simply slides in. Most people like to wear this around the waistline where they would carry a regular pistol. Some people carry it up a little bit higher so it's near the armpit, almost like a shoulder holster. The next type of holster is called an inside the waistband holster. All right, in this particular example, I've got this nice, bright, hot pink holster that actually belongs to my wife. The inside of the waistband holster, what it does is the holster slides in between yourself and your waistline of your trousers. And these rubber loops or plastic J-hooks slip down on the outside of your trousers and then snap on the outside of your trouser belt, keeping it in position. In this particular example, this holster is designed for this small Ruger light compact revolver. It fits nice and snug in the holster. The holster goes right inside the trousers and uses these rubber straps to snap it down. The next type of holster is an outside the waistband. There's several different types. You have a paddle type holster and you also have a belt slide holster. These are not really ideal for concealed carry unless you can wear a larger shirt or some sort of jacket because as in this particular case, the paddle is going to be between yourself and your trousers. The holster itself will be on the outside of the trousers. That's why you need to wear a larger shirt or a jacket to cover it up. Once you figure out the environment you're going to be carrying in, you need to consider the different materials that the holsters are made out of. These two particular holsters, both are outside of the waistband holsters and belt slide holsters. One is Kydex, it's a thermal plastic. The other one is leather. The good thing about a leather holster is that as time goes on, it'll start to break in and fit more comfortably. The bad part about it is that leather has a tendency to absorb moisture. That's gonna cause your firearm to rust quicker. For a Kydex holster, the good part about it is that it's molded to the pistol and will hug and retain its shape forever. The bad part is that it's very easy to wear down the finish of your firearm. All right, something to consider. Once you figure out the type of holster you wanna carry, the environment you're gonna be carrying in, you need to identify the type of firearm that you want to choose or that you choose to carry. Different firearms are designed for different people. For instance, this revolver all right, is a five shot lightweight revolver. If you look at it, technically you can, only, you can only get two fingers and your thumb on the grip. So it's very, very small and very, very compact. But if you've got really, really big hands that's gonna surround and engulf the pistol, it's gonna be kind of hard to manage. Whereas on the other hand, this pistol, a full-size Glock, is gonna be very hard to conceal because it's so long and so tall. If you have big hands, it's very nice, it's very easy. If you're a very big statued person, it's very easy to conceal. If you're a small statued person and you have small hands, this is not gonna be the most ideal choice. If you notice, I haven't discussed caliber. Because the technology and the way the different manufacturers have designed their pistols, you don't necessarily need to worry about caliber as much as being able to find a pistol that's gonna fit your needs as far as concealed carry and fit your hands being able to manipulate the firearm. I hope this answers some of your questions. Carrying concealed is more of a lifestyle. It demands a lot of research. Tune in next month for another training tip.